bank holidays of the past remind me of pub gardens, of drinking all day and music and frivolity and <clears throat> general naughtiness, I guess. But now I'm a parent and priorities have changed. Things have changed, activities have changed. So stay tuned and buckle in for some real excitement. Although I may be hamming that up a little bit, it might actually just be really interesting and a little less exciting. But it will be good, I promise. We're here for the train. So this is it, from Beer Gardens to the Gloucestershire and Warwickshire Steam Railway at Cheltenham Racecourse. It's not the first time we've done this activity. The girls really, really enjoyed it and as we were a bit bored today, thought we'd give it another go. I'll be the first to admit it's not the cheapest activity around here, but as a one-off treat, it's pretty cool. And as you'll see as the video goes on, lots of interesting things to see and there are activities for kids at the other end, so bank holiday treat it is. It's very quiet, I'm not sure what time the next train is. Let's head into the ticket office and find out. Are they still doing the activities at Winchcombe? Yes. We haven't planned this very well and now we have to wait 45 minutes for the next train, so Helen is shipping in the coffees and some snacks. For those of you interested, this is what we're doing today. Go wild at Winchcombe. We've just been told by the guard that on the Mary carriage, it's first class and no extra charge. Come on then. Oh, oh, I don't want to thank you. No, that's fine. Just show me your ticket. <laughs> I know, thank you. Oh, this is all very grand. What is he living live in the high life? High life. High life. All aboard. There goes the whistle. Goodbye, gentlemen. Bye. I feel like commuting in the 60s might have been quite a pleasant experience. Are you enjoying the train ride? Yes. Yes. It's really fun. Is it? Yeah, it's really fun. What's been the best bit so far? This bit. Look at our flowers. Oh. Welcome to Winchcombe. This is where we're getting off for the children's activities. You have to open this door. Now this side, this side. Can you open? Can you reach? That mummy might have to do it because I've got my hands full. Are they going? <laughs> when we came here before, it was Easter and they had a really cool Easter egg hunt. My girls are struggling to comprehend the fact that it is no longer Easter and therefore there is not an Easter egg hunt. Helen and I have our fingers crossed that there's something in its place. Let's head into the discovery coach and see what's going on. Map of the route. You'll see, Cheltenham, so we started. Got the ring center, I got a little bit of footage. And Winchcombe, where we are now. It does go all the way onto Broadway, ultimately, but we're not going there today. Lots of memorabilia. What are you showing me? Oh, wow, big model. That's quite cool, isn't it? Oh, it's not real? You want to watch the TV? What's on the TV? Let me 
we might lose our audience if we hang on this one too long. It's probably worth adding, and someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this whole thing is run by volunteers. All the station masters, all the ticket masters, all the people going up and down the train. I'm 99% sure they are all volunteers. It's really quite incredible, actually. I'm sure someone who's more train knowledgeable than me will let me know why it's going backwards. And in this old Royal Mail carriage, there is a model railway. Oh, wow, look at this. This is pretty elaborate. Hey, what do you think of the model railway? Yeah. Oh, it's quite cool, isn't it? You might want to pause the video here so you can read that properly. Look at that, behind the scenes access. Did you build this? Trevor, how long would it take to build something like this? It depends on your the amount of people that you've got building it. Oh. Okay. Months, um, to be up to a couple of years. <laughs> oh, wow. Guess it's never finished, really, is it? They never are. This is the van they took the gunpowder in. But this van could tell some stories. There's my family in amongst all the older people. Getting special treatment across the tracks. I'm not a train enthusiast, really, despite what you probably think from the first few minutes of this video. <laughs> But it is really quite impressive what the people who are restoring this have done. As I've mentioned in previous videos, my kids love going on the train. So it's a win-win, really. Makes a nice change, but this is what we're here for, really. Every now and again, they have activities for children. It'll keep the kids occupied for a little while. Is Isabella, what are we doing? Colouring in the train? Oh wow, look at those pens. You want to make one of those? So there you go. This is the modern day equivalent of the Easter egg hunt. The kids will be delighted. Holly, what are you making? Kitten mask. Helen is currently giving me video content ideas. Give me a thumbs up in the comments if you'd like to see me make a bee haven. How often do you see one of these these days? So what started off as a pretty sedate trip to Winchcombe has now been added to the hint of drama. There are only two trains left going back the south this afternoon. I will caveat that by saying that they're not for a little while yet, so we're not in a rush, I say. But it does limit what we can do now we're here. We were going to head into Winchcombe for some lunch. Exciting times, eh? Holly, can I see your mask? <gasps> Are you a pig? <laughs> What's your name, little piggy? Holly, do you want a motorbike? I think following yesterday's video and how today's video is panning out, I'm gonna have to up my game pretty quickly and get a bit of, um, I don't know, adrenaline, excitement, adventure, challenge into this series. Otherwise, <clears throat> I'm gonna lose you lot, aren't I? Since when did it cost five pounds per adult to go to a school fete? Times have changed since my day, that's sure. Holly has got her eyes on this thing. Thank you. I'll say no more. This better be good content. <laughs> yes! Good one. <laughs> this thing is savage. That's a good one. Oh. 
<laughs> Not terrible value, I suppose. Tell me you're in the country without telling me you're in the country. And then I think the third one, if this young lady, which is getting a bow tie on. A load more cars to look at today. I won't bore you with more classic car content. You had enough of that yesterday, didn't you? That might have my name on it. There is quite a lot here, to be fair. I think my earlier, my earlier eyebrow raise at the five pound entry is, this isn't just any old school fate, I don't think. There's lots here. Thank you. Is it good? Oh, that is yummy. <laughs> that one. Yeah, how much are they? Four quid? Okay. Can we have one of the. Yes, please. Thank you. Have you got a website or something if we want to buy more? Oh, yes, please. Pimpyourmayo.com. Okay, thank you. I have another good call. Pimpyourmayo.com. It is good. Look at all these upcycled bits and pieces, all these cufflinks. Some very cool lights. Diet starts tomorrow. Genuinely does. Regular viewers of my channel will not be surprised to hear the following news. We are cutting it fine to get this train, the last train back to Cheltenham. I mean, honestly, are we even surprised? Really, are we? Little legs are not what you need when you're in a hurry. Little legs with no sense of urgency, even less. Panic over, it was close, but we made it. Well, I hope we made it. I mean, I think we made it. Guess we'll find out in a second. Locking up on refreshments for the trip home. And here we are, back at Cheltenham Racecourse. What a day of fun. Don't worry, I'm not a train spotter just yet. So there you go, that was our day on the Gloucester and Warwickshire Steam Railway. If you're ever in the area and look for something to do, I highly recommend it. It's, a, as I mentioned earlier in the video, it's not an adrenaline fueled venture, but it's pretty relaxed and pretty chill. And if your kids are anything like my kids or your parents are anything like my parents, in fact, I'm sure they'll love it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. See you tomorrow.